Death is going from shadow into reality, from darkness into light, into a freedom of the spirit. The spirit leaving the earth and passing into the spirit world. From darkness into light. Leaving the physical body behind. Behind. The passing of one life into a newer and possibly higher life. Leaving the physical body and going on to the next plane, the etheric. Taking on the etheric body. The etheric body. The uh, end of the physical body and the awakening of the spiritual body. In death, one starts to really live. The earthly condition that we have been living in, uh, in my opinion, is a forerunner of the life that we hope to see and achieve in the world to come. Death is a gateway to the next phase of life wherein we learn to use the powers that we have gained down here, the lessons. We reap what we have sown. Death is going from shadow into reality. Leaving this earthly life. And going on to the next plane, the etheric. Going to a higher life leaving the physical body behind. The perfectly natural phenomena. Something that happens quite naturally. The perfectly natural phenomena. It's the leaving of the physical life and ending into a new life and, I trust, a higher life. You just leave the physical body behind and just go through a doorway into a new life. One leaves this physical world and awakes into a spiritual world uh, perhaps far beyond what we comprehend. The next world after death could be and should be a really beautiful place to live in. Death is the gateway to the next phase of existence. The falling asleep and waking up in another world. Death is a reality into the other world. Death is a deep sleep. Death is peace and out of agony. Death is when his God, uh, God is finished with us on earth and we go to him after. Falling asleep and waking up in the wonderful country. I think death is wonderful. In death, one starts to really live. Death is a reality into the next world. It is the next phase of our life. Our existence. Death is a peaceful sleep. The shedding of skin. Death is a relief from pain and agony. The shedding of skin. Death is when God finishes with you on earth and wants you to enter heaven. This is wonderful for the, the, for the year after. It is the passing on of our spirit into another world. Uh, going along, tra traveling along um, until you get to perfection. Going to peace, perfect peace. Peace, perfect peace. Freedom of the spirit. The gateway to the next phase of life. A doorway into a new life. The gateway to the next phase of existence. It's a natural thing, and we all have to take it when our time comes. When I look forward to that period of time, I have no fear. No, I agree, I have no fear. Death to me means happiness, a kind of release into another world. A world where we aren't tied down by the material things we have here, but are, are released into something that's wider and bigger and deeper and more wonderful than we've ever really known. From shadow into reality from darkness into light, into a freedom of the spirit. It's a perfectly natural phenomena. Uh, 
a great release from this earthly body. The release of the spiritual body from the physical body. Simply the passing from this life into a higher and I trust much higher life. Just the gateway to another life where I hope to meet my loved ones. Death, to me, a spiritualist, is the gateway, the birth, into the next phase of existence, which is continuous with this life that we have left in the physical. There we live in a world of thought. And as we think, so shall we move about and find our happiness, our peace, our work, our sorrow. Death is just a changing from this dark phase of life into a brighter sphere. I have no fear. I look forward to death. It's just like going to sleep and waking up again and finding that you can move about much more easily than you could before. And one of the, the strange things, I think, would be to find that other people can't hear or see you and yet you can speak to them and you can see them. It must be very bewildering to people who don't quite realize what has happened because of this sensation. They, they feel just the same themselves, and yet the people they talk to on Earth can't hear them or feel them or see them, and it must be most confusing and unhappy, I think. I should imagine I should be unconscious in the passing, And on the awakening, the spiritual awakening, I hope, I hope to awake in a world somewhat similar to the one I've left, but in a much brighter aspect. And I hope to have friends there waiting to receive me. It's like going to sleep. after a long sleep, waking up fresh and yet a little bewildered until we notice that our loved ones and our friends around us 
and I think it's a little while before we realize that we have left the Earth plane. In the few seconds preceding death, one is granted the vision of loved ones who have preceded us into a higher life. That is done, I feel, to give us a, a sense of confidence. It takes away any kind of fear. But after the actual moment of passing, we would rest. Possibly sleep. Maybe for a day or two. And then, we should then receive our full awakening. Those who are the closest to me um, in spirit would be aware of my passing and would be there to receive me, to uh, carry me forward. Once, once the actual death has taken place, a new life begins, a fuller life, a more beautiful life and you grow and you meet the people that have passed on before you. You have work to do, time is not wasted and what you have learnt on the earth life helps you in the next life. No matter what agony the body is in, you die painlessly and peacefully in your mind. I don't think that it's a, a terrible thing. I think, in fact, that it's quite a happy type of feeling at the very last moment. And I don't think, really and truly, that you know that you died. You actually sleep. I don't think any pain is felt at the actual death, only peace and contentment and happiness that you are going to see loved ones again. There is no feeling of death. I think you automatically sleep with the last thoughts that you have in your mind probably in the last hour or so of ordinary life. I think that they stay with you until you automatically wake up into the next world. I will look on it with great excitement, knowing that I'm going into a new life and a fuller life. One would experience nothing but great pleasure. Uh, all physical conditions would leave you but you would be completely rested and one would be able to see those in the spirit world that have come to escort you into your next resting place or world in the beyond our angel friends the arisen loved ones, our guardian angel, will be there to receive us. The cord that binds the etheric and our other bodies to our physical body will be snapped. And we will be risen above our bodies, gradually taken away to a resting place It may be a beautiful green field. It may be by water. This river, this water. And possibly that is true, that there is this water When we have crossed it, we cannot, we cannot come back. I would be free, happy, floating on a world of love, looking forward to seeing friends, relations, those that I haven't seen for a long time. If I die 
a more or less natural death without suffering at the end, then I too would look forward to going forward, look forward to going forward and carrying on with the work that I've done here in trying to help others. It is written in our Bibles that Christ himself said that I go to prepare a place for you and to the thief that was on the cross beside him said today you will be with me in paradise. This I hope is the paradise that I personally would wish to see. I would feel only one feeling a sense of great delight at being reunited once more with those ones I've always loved. It will be a feeling of uh, rising up. Rising up. I think that it would be a feeling of relief. Yes, I think it's a feeling of relief and got over all your troubles. You're free from pain, no more worry, and uh, it's just that you're happy, comforted, happy. I'm very much looking forward to the other side. I know I shall be happy. I know I shall meet all my loved ones. And I feel that I shall be rewarded for what I've tried to do on the surf plane. If I pass in a natural way, I think that I shall feel much relieved of the physical body, having left that behind. And on looking around, I think that I should find, I expect to find, great happiness. I feel I should be very happy. It would be wonderful to be able to see and speak and be with people who one only felt before. And to be in a world where everything is light and happiness and laughter and where everyone loves one another. And that first of all, they want to do things together, to share things together. And to discover all the wonders that we, we didn't understand when we were down here. Everywhere is light. Light. The vastness of space. 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 It's so clear. Clear. Green fields, valleys, clear running water. It's so clear. Clear. Everything is wide and broad. 
and all the colors are glowing. They're radiant. Intensified. Glowing. Wonderful garden. Flowers that I've never seen before. And birds. Lovely birds sing. And uh, angels. Angels singing. Um hymns and things that we've sung on earth. The harps will be playing. I'm positive there will be harps. And um, happiness. And um, plenty of sun. Scenes that we've never seen before. Something more beautiful. In every way, livelier in every way, we shall find ourselves happy and um, the flowers and the um, greenery and the trees be lovely. Everything comes back to you, your life and things that have happened during your life and I think it's a wonderful feeling to know what you're gone through. We shall find ourselves in the most wonderful garden, scenery that we've never seen before, and uh, angels, and music, and birds. Light. Space. Colour. Peace. Brightness. The peace that one can not feel anywhere else on earth. Anywhere else on earth. And something which one really can't express. Something which we hadn't seen before. Something more beautiful in every way. Something quite different. In every way. A new life in every way, not only in ourselves, but even in our surroundings. Time won't exist. Time will be nothing. We won't think of time. Flowers. Flowers. Flowers tinkle as bells. Trees tinkle as bells. Water is crystal clear. Grass is as soft as a beautiful carpet. And all the colors are glowing. Beautified. Intensified. They will be very very textual. They will stand out. They will almost talk to you. And generally, I would find a vastness of space. There's space everywhere. Everything is wide and broad. And all the colors are glowing. The streams are so clear and cool. And if you put your feet in them, they seem to almost... It's so light, you almost walk on the water instead of through it. And the trees and the flowers are alive within themselves. Not just things you look at, but as if they're alive too. The green fields and the pastures are so soft. 
they're radiant. There's peace, the peace that one can now feel anywhere else on earth. This world that we will enter into has been created by God himself. The God that we believe in and the God that is all-powerful. And blessed by his divine hand. I believe that nothing else but this beauty exists. Everything that surrounds the spiritual world is created by God and by so being must be beautiful. The birds, the animals and all living things we shall see and see them in their finer aspect, their finer life, the same as we shall be. Yes, there is color, there is brightness, there is light. But I know that I will reap what I have sown, whether it be for the better or for the worse. Personal responsibility is what we spiritualists believe in. I myself know that I am personally responsible if I find myself in a beautiful garden, a home of brightness, or if it is a hovel. It will be for me to undo and to put right, to build afresh, to build anew. But I have faith in the Almighty Father and I know that he will show me the way and send me his angels to teach me to rise to the heights, to the brightness, to the stars. I know that there will be color and I shall change my body and it will become just one beautiful color. No one sees beauty. There's another, so I cannot say what beauty will be for the others. But for me, it is music, sweet music, birds singing, grass, blue skies, flowers, the thought of God, and that in each soul that is on this earth, each soul in the spirit world, all that he has created are one. And we are one in love and love is beauty. Death is just the changing from this dark phase of life into a brighter sphere. I have no fear. I look forward to death. I don't uh, fear death. Nevertheless, I'm not waiting for it. 
I don't fear death either. In fact, I'm looking forward to it when my time comes. But I'm hoping I'm on this earth for a long time yet. I don't look forward to it. And I have no fear of it. But I must say this, that I shall have a very deep regret of being part of those that I love very dearly. I haven't any fear of death. But while I'm still living in this earthly body, I want to... Uh, live my life to good advantage. I, I, I personally don't fear death in, in the slightest. The leaving of our loved ones in this world would dis disturb me a little, I think. But actual death itself is a wonderful thing. I would don't dread it at all. No, don't dread it at all. I have no fear of death. Because death is an angel. My fear is the fear of what will bring about that death. Will it be a bed of pain? Torture? Agony? That is the fear, not death. I think it would be wonderful to die quickly and suddenly, for oneself at least. On the other hand, it is rather hard for one's friends and one's loved ones to be suddenly faced with the fact that there is now a gap where before there was a person. Unless they realize that even though they can't see you, you're there just the same and they can feel you and and even think of you, and you can think of them, and they can get that thought. The death that most people would choose would be something very quick, without any pain or anything else. But at the same time, uh, there's more to it than that. Um, I really feel I'd like to have a good length of time on this earth, a few more years yet, with health and strength. And then when that begins to fail, to just be able to peaceably pass from one world to the next. I should like to pass out quietly and not be a trouble or a burden to anyone. One always has a fear of how one will die, either drowning or anything unpleasant. Nobody wants it. Everybody would like to lay into their own beds and fall away into spirit. But I don't really think that anybody would want to suffer in any aspect at all, just to play into their beds and pass away peaceably. And of course, uh, to linger where one becomes uh, a nuisance to somebody else, a burden, uh, is right out of the question. I wouldn't like that at all. I would just like to pass into spirit in sleep. Death, to me, is as going to sleep on one's bed. But it is what precedes that death, as I said before, that is the fear. And I think that is the fear in many people's hearts if they were to analyze it, not death itself, but what comes and causes that death. I feel just the same. I pray that I will never have to have a long suffering before I leave this body. I have had illness and I know what it is to have pain and sickness. And I hope that when my time comes that I don't have to go through that again. Yes, as a preference, I think I should, uh, I would prefer to go in a sleep. Uh, that would be my opinion. But I, I realize too that in doing so, it would cause a shock to those that I leave behind. So I feel that it is really, shall we say, a question of 50-50. Maybe we have no preference how we die. But let's hope we have the courage to be able to face up to what we have to go through, knowing that at the end we shall be at peace and with our loved ones. Oh, I fully realize that when the time comes for me to go through the state of death, it's going to cause a great deal of sadness to many people. It won't cause any sadness to me, because as I've already affirmed, I believe that death is just the passing from this life into a higher and much better one.
from shadow into reality, from darkness into light. The gateway to the next phase of existence. The falling asleep and waking up in another world. Death is a reality into the other world. Death is a deep sleep. Death is peace and out of agony. Falling asleep and waking up in the wonderful country. I think death is wonderful. In death, one starts to really live. Death is a reality into the next world. It is the next phase of our life, our existence. Death is a peaceful sleep. The shedding of skin. The relief from pain and agony. The shedding of skin. Death is when God finishes with you on earth and want you to enter heaven. This is wonderful for the, the, for the year after. It is the passing on of our spirit into another world. Uh, going along, tra traveling along um, until you get to perfection. Going to peace, perfect peace. Peace, perfect peace. Freedom of the spirit. The gateway to the next phase of life. A doorway into a new life. The gateway to the next phase of existence. natural thing and we all have to take it when our time comes. Because I shall be going through the gateway of death to life, I will be helped in my suffering or whatever causes that death. So I look forward to going through the gateway, that gateway where I may continue learning the lessons.